So, good day! I am Hazel Joy Dumagi, a VSL second year at Triad Sorelias State College. So, this kind of blog I wanted to share especially to high school students and it is all about grammar. So without further ado, let's get started! So far, the lesson that I learned was all about in grammar and it says, Grammar is comprising more few syntactic rules from the traditional and structural linguistics and to a lesser extent generative linguistics. From this, there are structures and patterns include. First, we have morphemes. In Turkish, the root of verbs each have a thousand of different forms. Next, function words. From Indonesian, exolaries are used as tense or aspects markers. Then, next is phrases. Subcategorization constraints vary from language to language and produce different transitivity patterns. For example, in Chinese, is intransitive, whereas in English, serve sure must take an object patterns. Next is clauses. Canonical or order in English as S dash B T O dash I O and in Japanese it is S dash I O dash D O dash B discourse level pattern. Actually in grammar there are fundamental terms and concepts associated to the teaching and assessing of grammar. These are the following. First we have grammar. Actually uses a grammatical structures accurately, meaningfully, appropriately in this respect. Larson 31 2001 further states that grammar teaching is not so much knowledge transmission as it is skills development. Next we have grammaticalization. In grammaticalization, this is a type of semantic change by which a lexical item or construction change into one that serves grammatical function or a grammatical item develops a new grammatical function and grammaticalization have open focus on isolated linguistic forms it is frequently being emphasized however that grammaticalization not only affects single words or markings but also larger structures of constant constructions. Next, we have spoken versus written grammar. So there are two parts of spoken grammar. These are form. It is in facts. Next, we have function. There will be function of spoken grammar that are necessary in writing. Though has two minutes, therefore it is used more. It can be used at the very end of a sentence. So, it greater frequency may be due to its flexibility. Using though at the end of the sentence is very rare in reading in English form. Um, though also much more commonly used to resume a conversation which has been interrupted or it is functioning or function. This is evidence of a difference between spoken, written, and grammar. So we have a okay. Another we have a grammatical assessment. So well, in grammatical assessment, the traditional approach to assessing grammar, um, grammatical knowledge is defined in terms of accurate production and comprehension, and then assess through the four skills. Testing is typically done by means of decontextualized, discrete point items such as sentence unscrambling, fill in the blanks, error correction, sentence completion, sentence combining, picture description, elicited imitation, judging, grammatical correctness, and modified plot passages. Another, we have a pedagogical issues. Okay. So, in this pedagogical or should I say pedagogical issues, I learned that what are some strategies that I need to 
to apply to come up in the issues, which it regularly identify the skills you want. So, uh, okay, another we have a grammatical assessment. So, well, in grammatical assessment, the traditional approach to assessing grammar, um, grammatical knowledge is defined in terms of accurate production and comprehension and then assess through the four skills. Testing is typically done by means of decontextualized. Discrete point items such as sentence unscrambling, fill in the blanks, error correction, sentence completion, sentence combining, picture description, elicited imitation, judging, grammatical correctness, and modified clause pass passages. Another we have a pedagogical issues. Okay. So in this pedagogical or should I say pedagogical issues, I learned that what are some strategies that I need to apply to pop up in the issues which it regularly identify the skills you want students to learn and apply being very explicit about the extent to which students need to absorb material and extent to which they should question material presence. So here are some strategies. So first, incorporate checks for comprehension into the classroom presentation style. Another, we have provide clear guidelines for participation and allow time for a participation learning curve. For example, a trial period before participating points can be appeared. Another, provide specific and clear instructions about policies, grading, and all assignments both orally and in writing. Another, illustrate key points with visual material. Create study guides and study questions to help students prioritize reading material. So another, to enhance participation, ask all students to take a minute to write response to questions asked in class and then call for responses and many more. That can surely help to you in just like this kind of case. Moreover, um, to conclude that grammar is very important because the more we understand how grammar works, the better we can monitor the meaning and efficacy of how we and others use language and take use of richness of expression accessible in English. And also the importance of it for me is that it aids the reader's comprehension by providing information. In other words, the structure is what transmits the writer's specific message to the audience. Remove grammatical faults from your work and provide your reader clear message. So, that will be all. See you next time.